Hello everybody, my name is Amit and you are watching aptitude360.online. Uh, this is the very first video in this series called uh, Divisibility Rule. There will be 7 to 8 videos. Aram se sabko dekho and ensure that you are understanding all the concepts well. So I am starting with the very basic rules out here. I would be talking about uh, divisibility rule of these numbers here. Iske baad mein dheere dheere hum difficulty level ko bhaate rahenge. Uh, so let us get started. And let us see what are the divisibility rule of 2, 4, 8 and 16. Agar aapko ek samaj mein a gaya, to baaki samajna kuch bhi mushkil kaam nahi hai. So let us see this. What exactly is the divisibility rule of 2? Two, two? So what did I say over here is the divisibility, the digit at unit place must be even. So which number is supposed to be even? Is 0 an even number? Is 0 an even number? Yes, it is. 0 is an even number. Phir kya aega? 2 aega, 4 aega, 6 aega and 8 aega. Agar kisi bhi number ke last mein, if you have got these numbers, that number necessarily will be divisible by 2. Do we understand this? Koi bhi number utha na. Even number hona chahiye wo, right? Acha. What exactly is the divisibility rule of 4? The divisibility rule of 4 says that the last two digits must be divisible by 4. So, number kitna bada hai, isse koi fark nahi padta. Say, uh, you have got 124. So, can I say that 124 is divisible by 4? So, what, what, what would I do is, I would look at last two places. Is 24 divisible by 4? Hence, 124 is also going to be divisible by 4. I hope you are understanding this. Now, what if, what if my is number ko 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 7, 2, 4. Even though, even though I write this very huge number out here, my focus is going to be on the last two digits when I am talking about divisibility rule of 4. So, 4 ki divisibility rule ke liye kya karna hai? You have to look at last two digits. That's it. Nothing else. Even though digits are very huge. So what if what if I what if I write this number? Is this number divisible by 4? Now it no longer is divisible by 4. Why? Because, because 74 is not divisible by 4. Do we understand this? So divisibility rule of 4 says that last two digits must be divisible by 4. Now, what is the rule of 8? Say this. In the rule of 8, last 3 digits must be divisible by 8. Is that okay? Last 3 digits, right? So now, what if I have got this number? 1, 2, 4, 0. Can I say that, uh, is this number divisible by 4? So what I would do is, rather than looking for any other number, I am going to focus on last 3 digits. Digit at unit place, digit at tens place, and digit at hundreds place. So I would look whether 240 is a multiple of 8. Yes, it is a multiple of 8 and hence this number 1240 is going to be a multiple of 8. Do you understand this? Koi bhi number utha lo. Koi bhi number utha lo. Aapko kya karna hai 8 ki divisibility ke liye last ke 3 digits check karna hai. So probably abhi kya ho raha hoga. You might be getting a pattern out here. Isn't it? Two last digits, uh, last digit should be divisible by two. Four last two digits must be divisible by four. Eight last three digits must be divisible by eight. So what should be the rule of sixteen? Ra sixteen says last four digits must be divisible by sixteen. Simple sa rule isko aise aap samaj sakte ho. What can you do ho over here is this is what you can do. So you can this is the rule of two to power n, right? What is n? n is 1. When n is 1, what is that you are getting? You are getting 2. You are getting 2. When n is 1. So what does that mean? When n is 1, last digit must be divisible by 2. Right? When n is 2, so can I say this is going to be 4? 2 is to power 2 is 4. So when n is 2, you get the rule of 4. Last two digits must be divisible by 4. Is that okay? How about 8? When I say that, what if n is 3? When n is 3, last 3 digits must be divisible by 8. I hope you are getting this thing. And last but not the least, when n becomes 4, 
you get 16 you get 16 and hence you say that last four digits must be divisible by 16 is that okay 2 4 8 and 16 would be coming from 2 to power n as simple as that now i am moving ahead with uh, divisibility rule of 3 and 9 they are very very similar in nature so what i'm saying over here is if you need to find out the divisibility rule of 3 it says that the sum of digits must be divisible by 3 so can i say that 1 1 1 is this number a multiple of 3 yes it is why why because 1 plus 1 plus 1 this number is 3 so can i say that this number because this this sum is 3 3 will be divisible by 3 and hence 1 1 1 is a multiple of 3 now now see this what i'm going to do here is 1 0 1 0 1 now can i say that is this number divisible by 3 yes it is why because 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 it does not make a difference sum is going to be 3 and hence this is going to be a multiple of even though this seems to be a very uh, a, a number that you might think whether this is a prime number or not aisa kuch nahi hai ye ka number 3 ka multiple hai ya 3 se divisible hai do you understand this agar main kuch aisa number yahan pe likh leta agar main koi number likh leta 2 2 2 1 now tell me whether this number is a multiple of 3 or uh, 3 or not 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 7 is not a multiple of 3 and hence it is not a uh, it is not divisible now agar main kuch yahi pe 2 likh deta ab ye kaam aasan ho gaya hamara kyunki ab dekho 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 now this sum this sum becomes 9 and 9 is a multiple of 3 and hence this number is also a multiple of 3 as simple as that now if you have understood what is the divisibility rule of 3, let us move to what is the divisibility rule of 9. So, 9 says that sum of digits must be divisible no longer by 3, rather it should be done by 9, right? Agar koi bhi sum of digits 9 ka multiple ho gaya, so that number necessarily is going to be, uh, going to be divisible by 9. Just say, if I write 1, 2, 3, is that okay? and then 3 is this number divisible by 9 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 this entire sum becomes 9 isn't it and hence this number necessarily is going to be divisible by 9 ab aapko ko samajh mein to aa raha hoga ki 9 ki divisibility rule ko aap check kaise karte ho 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 teen chhe baar maine 1 likh diya so what is the sum sum becomes 6 what if i want it to be a multiple of 9 so can I say that अगर यहाँ पे three लिख दिया तो ये भी हो गया. What is the sum as of now? Sum as of now is nine. What if I write nine over here? So this sum becomes eighteen and still this number is going to be a multiple of nine, right? What if I write over here two and seven? So now if I write this very huge number, the sum is going to be twenty seven and twenty seven is a multiple of nine and hence this entire number is going to be divisible by 9 is that okay with everybody i hope that you're understanding what i'm trying to say now try to understand this if any number is divisible by 9 any number which is divisible by 9 necessarily is going to be divisible by 3 agar 9 ka multiple hai 9 se divide hota hai to 3 se bhi to divide hoga na guaranteed hai but agar koi number 3 ka multiple hai so if whether it would be divisible by 9 or not there is no guarantee now i am gonna i'm gonna take a very sim simple example so for, for example this number that i was talking about this number is this number divisible by 3 everybody would say yes this is divisible by 3 but then is this divisible by 9 no it is not because the sum is not 9 or a multiple of 9 the sum over here is only 3 is that okay so this number is divisible by 3 but it is not divisible by 9 but what if i do this what if i do this isi number ke last mein 10101 and then i would write 6 over here so what is the sum over here the sum becomes sum becomes the sum becomes 9 and because the sum is 9 this number is going to be divisible by 9 is that okay 
एंड एंड इफ इट इज डिविजिबल बाई नाइन इट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी डिविजिबल बाई थ्री करके देख लो वट इज द सम नाइन नाइन इज डिविजिबल बाई थ्री राइट सो इफ इट इज डिविजिबल बाई थ्री तो नाइन से होगा कि नहीं होगा देर इज नो गारंटी राइट नाउ वी आर मूविंग अड वट इज द डिविजिबिल रूल ऑफ फाइव फाइव इज द सिंपलेस्ट वन लास्ट वाला डिजिट देखो और लास्ट वाला डिजिट पे इट हैज टू बी आइडर जीरो और फाइव नथिंग एल्स तो कैन ए से दैट दिस नंबर वन टू फाइव जीरो इज दिस नंबर a multiple of 5 or divisible by 5 yes it is because at the last place you have got zero is that okay now what if i say 1 2 3 5 8 7 5 is this number a multiple of 5 yes it is kya karna hai kya karna hai isko ya to zero check karna hai ya to five check karna hai baki to kaam khatam ho gaya is that okay अच्छा ऐसा रूल ban ke aata hai 11 ka ab aap 11 wala rule bade dhyan se dekho maine kuch likha nahi hai yahan pe so that i wanted to i wanted to, to explain everything over here so what i'm writing here is sum of sum of digits at even places at even places and then you find out then you find out sum of digits at odd places sum of digits abhi even and odd kahan se aayega sum of digits at Odd places. Right? So what you you would do is you will start from the unit place. Say if you need to find out whether this number one two four three two one whether this number is a multiple of eleven. What is that you are gonna do? You will start. <coughs> you will start from here. This is the first place. So you will take the first place, and then you will take the third place. and then you will take the fifth place is that okay so first and then this and then sum of digits at odd places so even places wala kya aayega 2 and then it will be 4 is that okay and then you will have this one so what is going to be the sum of digits at even places over here agar aap dhyan se dekho to 2 4 and 1 this is going to be 7 and what is going to be sum of digits at odd places that is going to be 1 plus 3 4 right 4 plus 2 so 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 this is this is 6 right so is this number divisible by 11 or not i would say it is not divisible by 11 because because aapko karna kya hai sum of digits at even places may say sum of digits at odd places jo bhi bada ho usme se chote wale ko subtract karo aur wo result kya aana chahiye zero aana chahiye or it has to be 11 or a multiple of 11 jaise bada simple sa example agar aapko 121 lena pada so 121 is 11 square everybody knows so how do we check whether this number is uh, divisible by 11 by using this rule i would say that start from the unit place start from the unit place and then this and this what is the sum over here 1 plus 1 is 2 sum of digits at odd places is Two and what is the what is the uh, digit at even places? There is only one two, so two minus two is going to be zero, and hence one twenty one is a multiple of eleven. Now one more simple example. Probably I should not have taken this one. Rather one three three one is this number a multiple of eleven? What is that you should do? Start from the unit place and go from here to here. One plus three, right? First place and then the third place. Sum of digits at Odd places, and what is the sum of digits at even places? That's also four. So four minus four is going to be zero, and hence this number is a multiple of eleven. Now people would ask, even wale mein se odd ko khatana hai, odd wale mein se even ko khatana hai, and I say this, bade wale mein se chote wale ko subtract karo, and it has to be either zero or a multiple of eleven. Aapka kam ho gaya, khatam. Is that okay? Chalo ji. Ab aap mere ko chhoda sa number pehle ye bata do, and then we will do some corrections over here. How about how about this number? Is this number a multiple of eleven? Is this number a multiple of eleven? What do you do? Sum of digits at odd places, which is one plus zero, which is which is one, and zero plus one, which is also going to be one. So one minus one is going to be zero, and hence this number is also a multiple of eleven. Now, how about how about one, two, three, two, one? Now tell me uh, whether this number is a multiple of eleven. क्या करना चाहिए भैया हमारे को यहां से शुरू करना चाहिए ऑड वाले से एंड वी विल गो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर द फर्स्ट प्लेस एंड द थर्ड प्लेस एंड द फिफ्थ प्लेस सो व्हाट इज द सम ऑफ डिजिट्स एट दिस दिस एंड दिस इट्स गोना बी 5 राइट एंड व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी 
plus 3 plus 1. So that's going to be 5. Now, how about, how about this plus this? 2 plus 4, 2 plus 2, which is 4. So could you see that sum of digits at all places is 5, whereas sum of digits at even places is only 4. 5 minus 4 is not 0 and hence this number is not going to be a multiple of 11. Is that okay? Now, coming back to this problem, what I could have done to make it, what I could have done to make it a multiple of 11, this is what it is. What if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, you might check whether this number is going to be divisible by 11 or not now. So, what is that we will have to do? See this, the first place and the third place and third place and then the fifth place and the seventh place. So, this comes out as 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1 that's coming out as 8. Sum of digits at odd places is 8. How about sum of digits at even places? This is going to be 2 plus 4 and then 4 plus 2. Is it 8? Right? So, sum of digits at odd places is 8. Sum of digits at even places is 8. This is coming out as 0. And hence, this number is going to be a multiple of 11. So, probably you are understanding this. Kya karna hai? Even wale places pe sum nikalna hai. Odd wale pe nikalna hai. Bade wale mein se chote wale ko subtract karna hai. 0 aega to thik hai. 11 aega to thik hai. Agar nahi aya, kuch or number aya. So, that number is not going to be a multiple of 11. So, probably this is what I had in this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about what is going to be divisibility rule of composite uh, numbers. 6 ka, 12 ka. 18 ka, 36 ka, 72 ka, 88 ka, what are going to be divisibility rule of these numbers and uh, and people keep asking me this one, what is the divisibility rule of 7 and I say that you have to go to third or fourth video and you will figure out what is the divisibility rule of 7. Aram se patience ke saath mein dekhenge, to ye sara ka sara banega, is that okay? So I'm gonna see you in the, in the next video where we will be talking about rules of composite numbers, right? Uh, till then, bye bye and take care.